Hi, this is James with Penny Books. This is a quick video to show you how to run a profit and loss report in Xero. Uh, this is a great report if you want to look at your company or your business's financial performance over the last, say, month or quarter or year. Uh, yeah, this is the report for you. So we're in the demo company, the Xero demo company at the moment. We're in the dashboard view. Whenever we want to run a report, we need to go to accounting reports. So you'll see we're into the main zero reporting section. Uh, you can actually, you've got the option, you can star your favorite reports and they'll, they'll appear here at the top. We recommend this because to be honest, there's probably only five or six reports that we spend most of our, most of our time running. So we've got profit and loss saved as a favorite. So we're going to click in here. Okay. So. Now we need to go through, we need to set the parameters for our report. Uh, and these, these few steps that we're going to go through, these are the same steps that you always need to do when you're running a report in zero. So first set the dates. So do you want to run it for last month, last quarter, last year? You can actually, if you have very specific dates in mind, you can click in and just manually add your dates. Uh, yeah, that's step one. So let's run it for last month. Step two, do we want to compare it against any other periods? So do we just want to run it for April or do we want to compare that against March, March and Feb? So let's, let's, let's pick two periods. Um, and then, yeah, th th those, are the, those are the two steps. Then when you want to refresh the report, you click update. Okay, so that's run a profit and loss report for April, March, and Feb. Uh, and you can see it's the it's a pretty classic PL. You've got sales, you've got cost of sales, you've got admin expenses, all the way down to profit after tax. Um, so that's that. If you ever want to, you know, you can very quickly change the, you know, one of these. So if we decided actually we just wanted to run it for April, we just click none there. If we decided we wanted to run it for the last quarter, again, we adjust that and we click update. You know, Zero runs these reports very quickly. You can play around, um, you can play around and adjust things, you know, in, in real time, which is the beauty of the whole system. Um, I think what one point to note, and this is probably a, a this is a prerequisite before you run any report in Zero. Um, this report for the last quarter is only going to be useful if we've reconciled all transactions up to the end of March. And any unreconciled transactions, you know, let's say you had income that need, you know, the income that needed to be reconciled against the sales invoice. If that wasn't reconciled, that's not going to appear. It's not going to feature in this report. This is only going to include transactions that have been reconciled. Uh, so that's that's an important thing to note. So we've, we've run our report, we're happy with it. What next? Um, you, you've got options, again, Zero is helpful. You've got options to actually export, export this report out of Zero. So if you come in here, you can export it to Excel, PDF, Google Sheets. So that's pretty helpful. Uh, what else? If, you've, um, if you do want to look at a very specific type of report and you want to structure it slightly differently, let's say you had three uh, you know, advertising type lines here, and you wanted to look at a subtotal and you wanted to actually group them so that it's easier to read. You can go into edit layout uh, and you can fiddle around the layout. You can adjust which order these are, these are seen in. You can bring in subtotals. Uh, you can, you know, you can, you can play around to quite a high degree in there. When you're done, you can save your template down so that you can use that template for, for future reporting. So we're going to click done. Back into our report. Um, and that's, that's really it. Um, have, get, go and have a play around. Uh, you can't, you, you know, you can't break anything. Um, you know, the profit and loss report is probably uh, at penny books. It's probably the report that we use the most, I would say. So it's a good one to get your head around. Thanks.